Where there she is. We're all loaded up. We're freaking halfway to Berryessa. And then this happens. So triple A's on scene here. We're gonna try and get this thing fixed so we can get up to the lake and get some content. Fishing Pete, Sean here, the average angler. We're going to go over our day of fishing at Berryessa. Uh, as you may have seen from some of the pictures, it didn't start out very well and it kind of went downhill from there, to be honest. Um, yeah, it turns out the Ford dealership that had been doing my oil changes and tire rotations had been using an impact gun on the wheel locks. Uh, yeah. So they had to drill the stud out to get the wheel off. That's, they replaced it right then and there, but I mean, it was, uh, it took a little while. We got out of the tire shop at 11. We were up at the lake around 12:15 and on the water by 12:30. So essentially we lost five and a half hours of fishing time. Um, I don't think it's a fish. Yeah, it is a fish. That big old jig. Smally. Is it gone? It is gone. <laughs> that big old jig is gone. Oh, he's bleeding too. God bless it. Watch out, Sadie. That's where they ought to be. The best boat foods right here, Uncrustables. Don't go buy them all now, I need more. This this bank is kind of steep if you look at the lines. Yeah. And then it's going to end right up here, the steeper stuff. It's no excuse, it was a beautiful day. We caught some fish. Um, now there were some good signs that we saw for the upcoming days, weeks, whatever. Um, the bite is still really off in my opinion. Um, but what did we see that was different? Uh, bait was all over the place. Um, trout were up. Uh, we saw trout crushing bait on the surface. Um, Last time I was out there two weeks ago, there was nothing. Uh, 
everything was down, including the trout. Matter of fact, the trout guys were complaining they couldn't catch anything. Uh, so <clears throat> that is good. Uh, the water clarity, oddly enough, after all of that wind, we thought it would be a little dirtier. It was actually a little bit clearer than it was two weeks ago. Um, in the areas I fished, it was about two, two and a half foot visibility. Uh, the smallmouth came off the east bank, uh, not the flats, um, kind of an area before you get to the flats. Uh, yeah, we ran up north. We spent some time back in behind the big island. Puda Creek, not inside the creek, but in that area up uh, on the main lake up there. Uh, but really, I felt kind of rushed. Uh, and I don't like that. And it, it's, it's my own fault. But after all the trials and tribulations with the tire, um, I still wanted to go fish. I just felt pressed to make something happen quick. And that's usually not a good combination. So, anyway, that is our day. Well, actually, day and a half. Because uh, I had to go get tires and... and uh, yeah, and I still got to wipe the boat and truck down. So here we are. It is Friday, um, and it's somewhere around noon, 12 30, 1 o'clock. So uh, time consuming and expensive, but I guess I needed tires anyway. Um, so it's all good. Everybody's safe. We made it through alive. Uh, nothing really more than just a hassle. So we'll count our blessings, we'll move on to the next one, and next week we are going to our local Lake X. All right, fishing peeps, we are continuing on. It is now Friday. If you haven't seen this, it, it'll all be one video, of course, but I am uh, trying to finish resolving uh, all the mishaps from yesterday. Um, you saw I had the tire blow out. Uh, so I am going to get four new tires on the truck right now. Um, my lovely wife, when I called her yesterday and told her what happened, uh, she decided to call around and give me prices on my tires. I told her what I wanted and she called around and, and uh, scheduled the appointment for today. So that's where we're headed. We're headed to get tires. Now, the only reason I really bring this up is the same, the same set of tires, depending on where you went, range from 1200 for all four to two grand for all four. Now, I'm all for supporting small business. I was a small business for a long time. I love supporting my small business. Not to the tune of 800 bucks uh, for nothing, okay? Uh, okay, and there you have it. <clears throat> and folks, the winner was America's Tire. Okay, uh, I, I've always stuck with the Michelins. That's what came on my truck, and uh, that's what I keep on the truck. So we're not really done yet. I gotta clean the boat, wipe the boat down, wipe the truck down. Uh, but see that new rubber? We're good for another 45,000 miles. All right.